Two billion dollars. And if that's not enough, another $175 million on opening weekend. What am I talking about? No, it's who I'm talking about. The phenomenon known as Taylor Swift. That's right. Look, I like Taylor Swift. I'm a Swifty. I'm not screaming and singing her lyrics at concerts or getting all emotional like that one dude on the video. But what I am going to tell you is she is a brilliant marketer and a brilliant business person and why you, the entrepreneur and the business person, should pay close attention to what she's doing here. So first of all, let's talk about the Eras Tour. $2 billion in revenue from that tour. That's not just ticket sales, which by the way fans complained everywhere of how expensive the tickets were while they were buying them so here's number one lesson you can learn from taylor swift be so good at what you do no matter what you charge people may complain about it but they'll still happily pay it in the long run everybody might have complained when they were buying tickets but when they saw the show i didn't see one single bad review so it's just like that right like be so good that even though you're expensive and it might be a little painful to them deliver that much to where they feel good about that purchase the second thing is so she did two billion dollars that's between ticket sales swag and all the other stuff there's lots of little bolt-on things that they go for advertisements promos and all the stuff along the way but two billion dollars Here's the brilliant thing that you need to pay attention, especially if you're a coach, a consultant, a digital trainer, somebody of that nature, if you're an internet marketer, this is the brilliant thing Taylor and her team did. They followed her around on tour with video cameras. They encapsulated and captured the entire experience on camera, edited it, turned it into a movie, and on opening weekend, last weekend alone, that thing did 175 million. It's already over $200 million in sales, which if you do the math, real quick 10% of the entire in, in one week 10% of the entire year-long tour made from the movie and guess what you can't go buy tickets and see the tour over and over again but you can buy that movie and watch it over and over again people are gonna rent that on Amazon in the future people are gonna buy that from HBO or Netflix or wherever the case it is in the future and they haven't even decided which network they're gonna sell that to to make money off of but here's the thing you got to pay attention to as a business owner, especially for those of us that are digital marketers, especially if you're a speaker. Taylor went on tour as a performer, recorded her performance, packaged it up into a digital product, AKA a movie, and then sold it to the masses. That's no different than when I put on an event like Million Dollar Mastermind and I have amazing people like David Goggins and Eric Thomas and Master P and Fat Joe show up and people buy tickets to it, thousands of people show up. We re Record that, put it all into a replay program, and we sell the replays. And we do about 10 to 20% of the revenue from the event just selling the replays, right? So think about that. Taylor and her people are on the same program here just with another couple of zeros from where I'm at. So if you're a speaker and you're not recording your events and repackaging them up and selling them, if you're somebody who's throwing events, if you're not selling the replays over time and create new packages out of that, you're really missing an awesome source of revenue because a lot of folks, they just, they do their job. A lot of performers, they go on tour, they get off tour, there's no movie revenue coming in. She's probably gonna surpass the two $2 billion dollars in tour money in movie money because people are going to buy this movie for in perpetuity that tour was only a one year long thing so entrepreneurs whether you love the music or whether it makes you emotional or however you feel about taylor and her dating life or whatever the case or political life whatever just know that she's got brilliant business people and she's a brilliant business minded person just take her boyfriend or her recent guy that she's dating travis kelsey of the kansas city chiefs everybody's talking about travis right now last year we knew who he was but he wasn't famous famous he goes on a couple of dates with Taylor Swift she shows up to see him on a game the next thing you know this dude is absolutely everywhere and everybody's talking about him again that's another brilliant business connection of Taylor Swift's helping him out see Blake Lively is Ryan Reynolds wife Ryan Reynolds owns a PR and marketing company called Maximum Exposure Blake Lively and Taylor Swift are friends so all it is is when Travis Kelsey hired Ryan Reynolds company Maximum Exposure Blake Lively made a phone call to Taylor Swift set the whole thing in motion and now the Taylor Swift effect is so big. Everybody's talking about Travis Kelsey as well. Whether you like her or not, she is brilliant at what she's doing. She's making all the right plays. And the biggest takeaway that you can take from her is she didn't start out selling stadiums with hundreds of thousands of people in them. She built a business just like everybody else. 
She started singing to small people in Nashville. She started selling out small theaters. She started selling out small arenas. She started selling out hockey and basketball arenas. And now she sells out the biggest arenas in the world because she's been in the game for almost 20 years now. That's longevity and you can't beat that. Lots of business lessons for you Swifties. If you got something you want to say, drop it in the comments. If you got something you want to correct me on, bring it to me, talk to me about it. Listen, Taylor Swift, you may not be in the car bumping it like you do your gangster rap, but you need to be thinking like her because she's got big things going and she's doing big things and we can model right after it. Rise above.